Hello, good afternoon. I'm back again, Lucha FM, with another episode of the Socio Challenge, uh, New Phone Challenge, sorry, where you left us off last. We started the new season and we went on a bit of a good run. If I just look at the, we lost the first game to Nims, fair enough, but then we went and um, we beat Bastia 2 1. We drew with Qua and VAFC, but then we beat AC Ajaso, bearing in mind they were like second or third, I can't remember where they were in the season. We beat them eight nil, eight nil. So that gives me hope that we can do, push on and do well this year. And pardon me. And basically, hopefully, get in the playoffs at least. The aim is to try and get in the playoffs now. We can't just keep being a mid-table team. We've got to, we've got to push on and advance as a club. Um, I want to get us into League One in the next two to three seasons, or else I feel like it's a bit of a failure. Um, especially with us not that long away now from um, FM25 coming out. I want us to at least do a se- put the seasons in League 1 um, before I finish this save up before uh, FM25. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get it done. But anyway, on that note, I'll leave the intro to end now and I'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode. Right, so first game of the season is against Villa Franche. Oh, I nearly kicked an instant result. Don't want to do that. Um, let's just get started. I think we should beat these. But then again, you know what will happen. We won 8-0 last game. We'll probably lose this 3-0 or something like that. So we'll see. But we're uh, getting near the playoffs. And it's only been 5 or 6. This is the 6th game of the season for us in the league. So we can't get too excited because we might start well and then go on a bit of a blip. Um, Abdu played really, he's starting to play really well. He's becoming a world class player in the making. Pinto's really good. We just seem to have like a really good team now with um, Pinto and Bastian on the on the fullback, Abdu, Thierry in midfield, and then you've got Lafont, uh, Dida on the wings, Kofi up front. Angeli's pretty good when called upon in the, in, behind Kofi. Yeah, yeah, Kofi's doing well this season. I think he's already got. Six or seven goals. I'll have a look once this highlight's finished. Oh, there's going to be a mistake here by them. Oh, look, a bit no. But we've got the ball. We have me. Lovely little pass. There you go, Abdu. Oh, look at that. For a bit of techers. By... Oh, what a goal. Fifth goal of the season. There you go. Beautiful pass. Um, I was surprised it went to Kofi in the end, but I think he turned the player, went past him, and then scored from a nice little angled shot. Not too bad. 1 0. We're currently second in the league. We haven't been second in this league for a long, long time. Like I said, this is only the sixth game of the season, so I'm not getting too excited. Oh, God, I did up. Mm, here you go. VAR. I thought it was weird when our first goal didn't get a VAR check, so. Ah, the referees don't like us, I tell you. Right, 1-0. Not too bad. The other team haven't really had any shots on target. Um, By the way, there is a fly hovering around, so if you hear a buzzing noise, I do apologise if that's annoying to you. I have to have the wind. I have to have the back door open or else I'll die in this kitchen. It's so warm. Oh, Kofi with another goal. Stays 1 0 though. Lafont with the corner, floats it up, headed out, into. Kofi is uh, determined to get as many goals as possible this season. I think he is starting to hit his peak. I think he's 26 at the moment. I think he's 26. Yeah, I think from what I remember, I can't bother to look. I'm, I think he's 26. So he's hitting. So we're hitting towards his peak years now, another year, and I think he'll be, like I said, I'll be sad when he goes, to be honest. I'm hoping that we still got him um, until I finish the save. I'm ho- I want him to be my main striker when I'm in League 1 as well. Because I think if he hasn't already broken records, goal-scoring records for so show, yeah, 26, there you go. He needs to get called up to the Ivory Coast team as well, it's disgraceful. So yeah, so he's got 39, 49, 53, 75, 104 goals for the club so far. Um, He deserves to be in league. 
Um, and him, I think it's him, Popal, and Piagni and Bastion. They were here from day one. Um, so they're they're the senior players at the club, and they deserve to be playing in League One for all the work they put in to get us to this point now. So I want that. I want that for them. I want them to be playing League One football, top league French football. With this lovely little passing going on it. Oh my God! What a ball by Bastian. Did up with the rebound. Second goal of the season for him. Two 0 I've ordered some more. I'm addicted to ordering football shirts lately. I've ordered some more football shirts. I managed to get a bargain in TK Max. Ah, two one. I managed to get a bargain in TK Max yesterday. Um, not yesterday, Friday. I managed to get a Leeds United away shirt. You know that pink orange one they had last season or the season before. The crazy pattern. I wanted that one for a while, and it had they had one in my size in TK Max for twenty pounds. So that's the second football shirt I've managed to get from TK Max for a decent price of twenty pounds. So the other one was this um, blue and white striped, not striped. It's like a pattern type of thing, faded pattern thing. The blue and white one when Cavani was there and everything. Um, I think it was from two years ago. I think that's when Ronaldo was there, and that was really that was. It's one. It's one of my favourite shirts. Um, and then I managed to get a in a mystery box replacement box for people who don't watch my mystery football shirt content. Oh, nearly Kofi. Um, I managed to get a uh, a team from Ghana's football shirt, and the pattern looks really cool. If you don't know, um, if you want to have type in Google, Google K Post. That's C A P E Post. Um, uh, Abusia Walls third kit and it's like a black and white pattern one but it look honestly it, it's one of my favorite shirts that i've had so far it's so cool and it feels really nice as well um so yeah so i've got them like i said i'm getting loads of i've got a load of order of fake football shirts coming as well from several different companies one two that i've used before and know that they're pretty good um and then there's there's one from another company and then there's one from a, a guy selling on dh gate um but yeah so i'm looking forward to them because some a lot of them there's, there's half of them i know which shirts i've ordered but i'm still excited because i can't wait to get them um and then there's ones i've got i've ordered like 10 mystery shirts as well because they were like literally five and a half pounds each or something ridiculous like that plus 25 quid postage because there's 10 shirts but 75 quid you're getting 10 football shirts um they're not the best fitting for me because they're a little bit tight, but I still got them to see if I get any uh, any decent ones. Hopefully, a few of them will fit me all right, but I can't complain too much. And then what I'm going to do eventually is the ones that don't fit me, I'll probably just sell on Facebook Marketplace or something, but I will make it a point of letting them know that they are fake football shirts. Or I might just do them as mystery boxes. <laughs> um just sell them for about the same price I paid for them. Then that way, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm ripping people off and I'm getting my money back, so it's not too bad. Whereas there's other people probably would double the price of what they paid. Um, anyway, right, on that note, I'll be back in a sec. Nice little victory for us to start the episode. I know I got a bit distracted. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a sec for the next match. All right, we're back. Um, it's just a slight transfer news because the transfer window ended. Um my DOF decided to send Izanga on loan, even though he's, he was going to be my main right winger, but it was too late. I couldn't do nothing about it. So we've got Kaluta as the right winger for today. Hopefully he'll get slightly better. He's still only 21, so there's still chance for him to get better. He has performed well when needed on needed upon. Um, but yeah, pretty much uh, LeBron's in the same defence today. Um, and that's about it, really. I think the team's the same, other than Kaluta on the right wing, as I said before. Yeah, let's see how we get on. We kick off. Will we get an early goal? Any time will tell. The bat. Oof. Nil nil so far when he scored. We hit the post. By the way, off topic, I know, but I'm really loving how the new ownership team at Man United are doing. 
when it comes to recruitment, when it comes to selling and buying players, we're just we're, we're doing really well. One nil, get in. Oh no, we are, we are. But yeah, we're doing really well. Um, really happy. We we're on the verge of signing Ugarty as well from PSG, I think. So that'll be three transfers in already, um, quickly as well, which is good because it means they can implement into the first team and then get in, play the uh, friendlies that are coming up soon. So Yaro played really well apparently in his debut against Rangers. And granted, it's only against Rangers in the friendly, but it's promising to see. Um, Zerksky will probably get some game time in the friendlies as well, so hopefully he'll see what he can do. Also, it gives um, takes the pressure off Hoyland a bit and also gives him a rest when needed because it's, it's, a, it's a, it was a big ass last season for him to play every game. So it's nice to have some rotations. We're uh, we're on about trying to sign Ivan Tony as well because he's more firepower. I just think the money that Brentford want for him, I don't think they're going to sign him because I think he might be a bit unrealistic, but we'll see. Um, I think ideally we need to get a left back, but it doesn't seem to be our priority for the team, the management team yet. But I think we will try and sign one because uh, Shaw and Malaysia are both prone to injuries. So we do need somebody. It doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that's like better than them. Um, just somebody that would be a good backup in case we need to. So yeah, exciting times ahead. Man United are finally getting their SHIT together. Um, it's nice to see the Liverpool fans being all bitter. It's uh, they are they know that they know their time's up now. They're gonna go back to being a uh, uh, no offense to any Liverpool fans who watch my content, but you know you're gonna go back to being a mid table team now. Before Klopp come along, I mean I mean I suppose Brendan Rodgers did well at Liverpool, but let's be honest, I think um, I think even under Brendan Rodgers, I think you've had seasons where you were mid table. Klopp come along, obviously performed miracles basically because he didn't really get back that much in the in the transfer market compared to other teams. Oof. Um. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the new manager does at Liverpool. Maybe he'll do really well, and then I'll eat my words. But I just got a feeling that it's going to end badly for him. They'll be begging Klopp to come back in January probably. Uh, I've got no idea who's going to be the England manager, but I think if, if they're either going to go for Hal or Potter, or they're going to they're going to put Parsley in charge for a year, and then I think they're going to try and go for Pep Guardiola or Jurgen Klopp because Jurgen Klopp wants a break, and he's already said he doesn't he's not interested in any managing jobs at the moment. So I think it would be a uh, a brilliant signing for the England team if we manage to get Klopp or Guardiola as manager. I just don't see it happening. I think we'll end up getting Eddie, Eddie Allen. I'll see with the wow, beautiful pass. Nice finish by Didot. Third goal of the season. 2 0 to us. We're doing well. We're doing well so far this season. We're beating teams that we struggled against last season, so that's always a good sign. So that's really good. Seven games played. We've got 14 points so far, we're third. Ideally, I want to try and get up as champions, guaranteed then to get up. I don't really want to go into the playoffs, but I'll take the playoffs because that's the only way we can get in there. If we lose in the playoffs, at least I know it's progress, and then we can try and aim to get promoted the following season. But after this season, I want us to get promoted in the next two seasons, I think. Uh, they're going to get a consolation goal here and have us a bit worried towards the end of this game. Still got possession. Oh, that's a good interception there. Good defending. I like to see that. Nice bit of passing going on here. Everyone getting a touch by the looks of it. Diagni, Abdu, over the lovely over the top ball to Kalutu. Look at that. We're pretty good at the. I don't know if it's. I don't know if that's a cross or a pass, but we're pretty good at getting it to the right person to finish off. Yeah, game over now. Three 0 We just got to sit back down and waste and just wait for the game to finish. By the way, we're talking about French football. I really do hope they sort sort it out and get the TV deal sorted because it's not good for French football if they don't get a, uh, a domestic. 
TV deal at all. They just need to get what they can get, really. Um, they burnt their bridges because they used to be with NL Plus. Um, that used to be the main broadcaster for French football for like many decades, I think, from what I remember, even the early 90s, maybe even before that. And then one day, the French FA or whoever's in charge of figuring the, the, the league rep or whatever decided to go with a different broadcaster. That broadcaster then went bankrupt or something. I can't remember now. Um, and then Canal Plus was like, nope, we're not having you back. Um, so, yeah, it's a bad situation to be in at the moment for French teams because none of the French teams can buy anybody other than maybe PSG, obviously, because they've got unlimited money. Um, but even PSG are not, since last season, they've not been buying superstars. Um, they've been basically trying to invest in young players. Um, the days of having superstars like Messi, Neymar and Mbappe are over for PSG. I think they're going to go back to how they were before. Um, anyway, right, on that note, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're back. Um, I've had a pick up a couple of injuries. Um, Bluetooth goes out for a bit. And then also the main one is Pays lose out for like two or three months, which is a massive shame. But it does give LeBron a chance um, as centre-back. So, you know. Plus and minuses, as they say. Um, and that's it, really. It's pretty much the same team as usual. Langace is on the right. He's pretty good when called upon. He's better than Balutu, but for some reason, our assistant manager always wants to pick Balutu. Um, we are playing... I actually didn't look who we're... I think it's FC, SFC and, 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 and ENC, or whatever they're called. Um, I've probably butchered that. Oh, by the way, I tried so hard to buy a so show home shirt i even went on the club the, the club's um shop and they don't have my size in stock really frustrating and it's reduced as well because they've reduced last season's shirt because they haven't released the new shirt yet um and it's like 35 euros and it's just so frustrating because i haven't got any i've emailed them i've even translated it in french um i emailed them a couple of days ago they haven't got back to me granted it is the weekend um, I've even emailed the the people who supply their kits. Uh, I, I can't remember. I think they're called a RIA or something like that. Um, see if they have any, but probably won't. So I might have to just make do with the white or beige shirt that I've got. Nothing I can do about it. They don't cater for people my size by the looks of it. Which is a shame. Every t I look every week on eBay, but there's just ne there's just never any home shirts in my size. I'm not paying the prices that. Um, um, classic football shirts want it's just a pack on the stupid in my opinion um, not, don't get me wrong if you want if you like spending ridiculous amounts of money buying football shirts that's fine um, I just would never pay 50 quid even for like a rep I mean I'd pay 50 quid depending on what the shirt is if it's like a if it was a shirt in my size and it was like a retro legit Man United shirt then fair enough but still wouldn't probably do it even at that price depends on what you value the shirt the thing is they know that people will pay it so that's why they have the prices so high i mean some of the shirts are like the arsenal banana shirt from the 90s i think something like 250 pounds or something stupid like that it's just ridiculous the holland shirt the one that everybody wants i think that's like 250 300 pounds it's just it's just greed at the end of the day People who are selling these shirts are just greedy. Right. Still nil nil. Corner, the font. Got another chance. Bastion loses the ball. Doesn't lead to anything. We are currently seven points behind Saint Entienne now, so we could do with winning this game. If we lose, it's not it's not it's not good enough as far as I'm concerned. We need to be challenged for the title, get in the playoffs. So if we lose one game we'll lose three or four. That's just how it works with this team. So we, the sooner we don't go on the bad run the better for the club in the long run. Oh yeah. Bastion, come on, that's a penalty. Took his legs right out there. Don't even need to look at VAR ref. Come on. Yes. Right. Kofi. I think. Yeah. Kofi lines it up. 
runs up. Oh, Kofi, come on. He's seventy percent of the time he'll score and then he'll just it'll just yeah. I think when the pressure's on he seems to miss. Still got a chance here with the corner. Takes a deflection. We get another corner. Uh Langais is injured, so I need to keep taking him off. Um we haven't really got anybody oh yeah. Bluetooth can come on for him. Corner. Headed out. Uh, Kofi not playing well because obviously he missed the penalty, so we'll put on Vaz. So he gets on. Thierry's not playing particularly well, so we'll go take him off and we'll put on Labat. Let's see if the super subs will make a difference. Abdu gives it to Palutu. Ah, poor pass by Palutu. Still got possession though. Thierry with the ball, maybe he'll make a contribution before he comes off. Pinto with the first time pass, beautiful goal. That was such a great pass by Pinto. 1 0. Subs are on. Let's see what we can do from that. But yeah, Didot Did and Pinto playing really well at the moment. So is Abdu. Five points behind Saint Etienne. We could do with beating Saint Etienne in one of the head to heads to give us a chance of winning the title, I think. Oh no, they've got because we're only winning one nil, this worries me. Uh oof, <laughs> nearly an own goal there. That would have been that would have been funny by Pinto who gets that assist and then concedes that own goal. Corner. Uh punched out by the goalie, I think. The font with the ball. Are we gonna make a nice break here? Oh no. Lafont, yeah, Lafont's knackered. Right, he's come off. Mendes the Silva is on, who's not normally an attacking midfielder, he's more defensive midfielder, so oh no, he loses the ball. Yagni gives it to Labat. Bastion, beautiful ball. Bas Bas straight in the goalkeeper then. Oh no, we're still winning one nil. Fine. We're doing all right. Take anybody else off? No. Right. Let's just see this game out now. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. This always worries me when we're winning 1 0. Met them. The Silver's off. He's getting sold. Yeah, he's going out the door. Two poor touches in this game since he's come on. I know he's not an attacking midfielder, but you know. Um, where is he? Yeah, you're out. You're out, buddy. Two and a half star now as well. I'd have to leave release him at this point. Stupid mouse. There we go. I'll even offer to pay some new wages. Get you out of this door. Come on, let's get a winner. Get a late winner. Last kick of the game now. Last highlight. Labat. Sebastian. He looks up. Come on. Oh, so close and getting a winner there at the end. Oh well. 1-1. One, one. This early in the season, that's not a poor result. But, I mean, we're seven points behind Socho now. Um, not Socho. Sent NTN. Uh, Langes is out for two weeks. Not good, so it's polluter. So, God knows who we're, we're going to have on the right wing. Right, then, what I'll do is I'll play one more match and then I'm going to call it a day. So, I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back for the last game of the episode and we're playing FC Calm. Um, sorry, is it CM Calm? C SM Calm. There we go. Got there in the end. Uh, Matthias is in centre of defence for this game with Lebrun and then Diagne's playing right back today because I think we don't I think Pinto might be injured or something. Um, Lafont's playing on the right, Angeli in the middle, did it on the left. Same midfield you see as centre partnership and obviously Kofi up front. So let me get on. How many subs have we got on? One, two, oh, we've only got five subs. That's not good. We need to Call up some players from the uh, youth team by the looks of it. We've got a quite small squad actually, to be honest. 
not everybody's good enough to be in the first team. We're playing in the white in this game. Palm in the Crystal Palace inspired kit by the looks of it. They're in possession now. Good clearance, but goes back to the... Ah, oh, that was a poor defensive error there. Goalkeeper should have done better. 1-0. I think this is where the decline starts, everybody. I think I know I'm being very negative for no reason, but drawing that game now has concerned me quite a bit. I think we're going to slowly work our way down the table. I've got this sinking feeling. Hopefully I'm wrong. Oh, we lose the ball, though. Players look rattled after the last game. They score another one here, it's not going to be looking good for us. Ugh, they're playing some nice football. Oh, for God's sake. 2 0 to Carl. Quite berating the players. God knows what I'm going to do in FM25 when things aren't going my way. Because the only thing I know how to do is do a shout. Shouty shout at them. There's only one point um, between us at second place and the team just below the, I think, six in the league. If you look at the league now, if you look there now, so you've got, you got Khan at 16 points. If uh, There's only two points behind them in seventh place, which is ridiculous when you think about it. So, And you've now got Monty Pella's been on a bit of a run there now in the playoffs. Lorient's gone up a little bit as well. Was the surprise team in this one? I think they're currently third. All right, let's see if we can get um, let's see if we can get back in this game just before half time. Matthews, um, that's that's not promising if we're having to do that. LeBron decides to take it on his own. Goes a bit further forward this time. Passes it. Well, that's nice. Forward pass for change. Angeli. We're just very sloppy in this game so far. Not gelling. Beautiful, beautiful. I think he's offside though because of the flag up. But we didn't score anyway. Still 2 0. Corner. Saved by the goalie. God, we're in absolute shambles in this game. Our captain's been so poor. Angeli. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, right, there we go. Bossy. Thierry. Abdu. We, play, we're, we seem to be doing better in this second half than we're the first half. We've seen more. We've seen more. Um, positive thinking here, which is good. Still 2 0 down. We are running out of time, and now they've got the ball and they're going to score here. No, they're not. Actually, they're not. Good save by Popal. Corner to, her, to the opposition. Let's see if we can counter attack from this. Head it out, go straight back to them. Good save. Well, an easy save, let's be honest. Right, Didot's not playing well, and he's on yet a pass, which I think you are. Uh, we've got Langace on, even though he's a bit injury-prone at the moment. Take off LeBron, because you've not been playing well. We'll put on Baldwin. We'll take you off. No, not really. Right, we'll leave the rest for now. Maybe we shouldn't have put Langace on, because we'll probably have to take him off in about 10 minutes. It's a bit of a waste of a substitution, really. The font to the corner, headed out. Bolivin gives it back to Lafont. Lafont, yes, get in, 2 1. No VAR this time, which is good. Right, let's get back in this game. Let's get another one. Come on. Let's at least salvage a point out of this. And now, third, Lorient overtook us. Um, we'll put on the back for him. And then we'll put on. Oh, they just bloody scored. Ah, just when I thought we were getting back in the game as well. Ah. Right. I think we just got to 
set up for a lot here. I'm down to 10 men as well. Down to taking more players off. We'll probably get another goal here and lose 3 2, 4 2. You have me? Yes, get in. Slight hope. Probably not much hope, but slight hope. But you know what? Let's go very attacking. We've got nothing to lose at this point. We get a point, we'll be happy. Nah, doesn't look likely. Right, so that's 3 2. That ends. Disappointing loss to end the episode, but we did well. It was a good episode overall. I'm just hoping it's not the start of the decline. Langes, oh, we should have not put him on. Eight to ten months, that was a poor decision by me. Poor decision. Poor Langes. Right, and on that note, I'm going to leave you to it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode um, with Socho. Um, but thank you as always for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm getting some consistent viewers now watching this series, so I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know in the comment section if you've been watching this Socho series from day one. I would like to know who the uh, people are who are, that are uh, suckers for punishment, basically putting up with me waffling. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. All the best. Thanks as always.